is a $50 account opening. If I open a new account with the bank, they put $50 in there for me. Fantastic. Look at the results. Fairly, fairly similar. So at first glance, you would think, well, they're both good. But when we start to bring in some data points, and the example that I'm using here is age, we know historically that if someone is in a different age group, you can see here that 18 to 25 year olds prefer $50 because when you're 18, $50, I can buy some drinks. Conversely, if we look at the data here for um, 40 to 59 year olds, I can see that 1% interest is more appealing. Okay. So what this is telling me as a marketer, it's giving me the insight to say that let's put some personalization. If we know the person's age, let's change the experience and put the best offer in front of them because we know that will convert at a higher rate. So let's go back to our tool. Let's go back into uh, the page that we're on. And if you remember before, I added this image. This is my $50 offer. That's the default content right now. How do I go ahead and make this so it is um, personalized? Well, let's have a look at this. First thing I need to do is right click and select target. And it's starting to set this up as a campaign. I'm going to choose my actual campaign that I've set up earlier. Um, I've just called it account opening offer. And we have the default content. And remember, every time we do personalization, we have default content. So now, all I need to do is go and add the segments uh, for my age. So you can see, I'll just zoom in. You can see I have these segments already defined. Where did they come from? The marketing cloud shares segments between all of the products. So we have a master marketing record where I can have a shared definition of an audience. So if analytics looks at someone and says, we know this person is between 18 and 25. When I hit the page, we can leverage that to drive personalization. So let me go and quickly set this up. Let's add one. Let's add two. Let's add three. And finally, let's add four. So these are our segments that we've defined. Now, this is great, but they also have the same content right now. So all I need to do is select the segment that I want to personalize, bring out my content, so here is my, um, my creative, and drag and drop, and I've now replaced for both 41 to 59 and 60, so I can see this is 28 to 40, 26 to 40, this is 41, and so on. So I've, I'm almost complete. I need to do one more thing. I need to decide what is making my uh, decision here. So you can see we interact with Adobe Target, the exact same tool that same that I was showing before. So this will be running tests. I don't have to go into different tools. I'm doing it right here, but I'm setting up a test to not only drive personalization, but also tell me which one's the most effective. Um, so we'll, we'll just select one of the options here, uh, we'll choose a Adobe Target, and then uh, we'll go and close that. All right, so now that I have this, we can actually bring back this um, experience. Again, I've reset this now, so we're completely anonymous. I want to test. So let me see what happens when we load up one of our um, customers. Here is Alison Parker. We know that Alison is less than 40. So Alison sees the default content. If I go and choose um, Charles, Charles is over 40, and Charles now sees the 1%. Simple, right? We could do this every day. Our customers will love you, right? <laughs> they'll love you so much that they will give you money. They'll buy more product from you, right? And that makes you good because your boss will love you. <laughs> okay.